Hey, in this video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade audio in and out the easy way. To get started, if we open a project and make sure that the audio clip that you want to fade in and out is on the timeline, you're going to want to select the audio clip and then once selected, go over here to the top left and click onto the effects control tab. If you can't see the effects control tab, then you need to go up to the top here where it says window. Click that and then make sure that Effect Controls is checked on. Now once you have opened up the Effects Control tab, go over here where it says Volume and click the arrow next to it to give you some extra options. Once you have opened up these options, you are going to want to make sure that the stopwatch next to the volume label is blue. If it isn't blue and it's showing like it is just now, where it is just white, then you have to click the stopwatch which will make it turn blue. This may add two keyframes to the right hand side, so if we go along, select them and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. Once the stopwatch is toggled on, you're ready to start fading the audio. To start with a fade, if you go to the point in the clip where you want the audio to reach its maximum level, in this example I am going to want a 3 second fade into the audio, so I will move the scrubber on the timeline to 3 seconds into the audio. While scrubbing along, what you will see in the mini timeline is that the scrubber also moves along. This mini timeline is focused only on the clip that you have selected. Now that I have the scrubber at the 3 second mark where I want the audio to reach the maximum level, then what you need to do is go over here to level and where it says 0, 0.0 decibels, you need to click on that number and then type in negative 60. This is the audio level in which I have found for the audio clip to not emit any sound at all. Once you have typed negative 60, then click off the number or press enter on your keyboard. These levels will now be set to negative 60. Once you have done that, you'll see a small diamond icon has appeared on the mini timeline. This is called a keyframe. All you have to do is drag this all the way to the left of that mini timeline so that the minus 60 keyframe is at the start of your audio clip. And then you're going to want to click back on the number beside the levels and type 0 or whatever your original volume of that clip was set to. What Premiere Pro will do here is adjust the volume levels from negative 60 to 0 in that 3 second gap that we have left in between the keyframes. So now that we have our audio clip with a fade in, we want to add a fade out. It's pretty much the same thing except in reverse. So if you make sure your audio clip is selected and use the scrubber to find the spot where you want the audio to begin to fade out. Again, in this example, I would like a three second fade. So I'm going to move the scrubber to the final three seconds of this audio clip. Go to the level option in the effects control tab and type negative 60 and then click off it or press enter. You'll see the diamond appear where your scrubber is and if you drag that diamond all the way along to the end of the audio clip and then go back to your levels, click on the number that is there and type 0 or what your original audio clip volume was. Now you will have a 3 second audio fade in as well as a fade out on your audio clip. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.